If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and a welcome to another video. I could have done this review yesterday, huh? Could have done them yesterday. Here's the thing, guys. Uh, this Yashin card has been leaked as an SBC. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm probably going to tell you guys to do him. I'm going to tell you guys why, okay? This card was in the account while I was doing the review for Jerzing over here, right? And from the highlights that I got, you're going to see like earlier highlights where I don't commentate because I use commentate, uh, commentating to edit the videos and stuff, right? And... He was impressing me. I'm going to be honest with you. He was actually defending really, really well. So I'm most likely going to tell you it's a good SBC, to be honest with you. Um, with this card, six foot two, medium high, two star skills, three star weak foot, controlled, right footed. Play styles, he has jockey, block plus, intercept, and anticipate to work with. I did not see any of these things before whatsoever, but now it kind of makes sense, you know? In-game attributes, this is how the card is formatted, right? So on a shadow chemistry style, you boost his acceleration to be at a 98 with an 88 for sprint speed while making his defensive stats as high as possible, right? Shooting on the card, he has an 80 for shot power, passing um, not necessarily in the greatest area. I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't really like care too much, but it's interesting that he actually has 99 vision. Uh, vision. Uh, dribbling on the ball, reactions 99, 98 for composure. Those are like uh, usually the really, really crazy important stats to take a look at. And then for physical, his physical is also in a pretty decent area too. Remember, I did not see any of these stats before. I didn't know what he looked like at all. And when I was using him in game, like this is me being fresh, I'm telling you guys, right? And it's kind of making sense right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, we're going to try a new 4-3-3 from Now Easy because I might as well. I mean... I can see if there's any like other attackers that I could check out in this team. This is the SBC, I think, but I can check out if there's any other attackers that we could check out too while doing a defense review. But for some of the highlights, I'm probably going to go get my old footage of like their Jer the Jerzinho and show you the stuff that he did without me commentating. And I'll just split it so that it's not boring to watch that so I have audio, don't, uh, don't have audio, audio, don't have audio, blah, blah, blah right? Um, but yeah, we'll just be showing you guys some highlights of his in the center back position and... Uh, We'll see how it goes. Beauty. Nice. Uh, technically is an offside trap, so kind of hold that area there. Oh, oh, it's got a crazy reach right there. Over the area there. Beauty, man. Good job. If I do the tackle, at least switch to me there. There we go. We'll take that. Let's 
Good stuff, boys. That Bruno Fernandes card, my guy's built different, huh? I was wondering why I couldn't time the shot there. Nice. I was like, what? Yeah, good challenge. Good animation there. Good challenge. Oh, he got it eventually. And he gets defensive play right away. Let's go. Oh, the pressure. Oh, the pressure is going to be enough there. We're good, though. Good stiff, good stiff. Almost, almost. Nice. Oh, and it goes right back to him. Of course it does. Nice. Nice try, nice try. Wasn't a bad effort. What's up, Davis? And it's mine, Andalay. War distribution. I 
That works. Being a little bit weird there, but. Or position for that. Did well there. <laughs> Sorry, it's when you, uh, you know, when you're defending pressing the A button and stuff or the X button? Whichever one you play on, I guess, right? Pass the ball away from doing the advance. He tries to block there. Yeah, you know you guys always go for the same things. I know, I know. <laughs> what a pass that was by Yashin, eh? Oh, they did. There we go. Cool. Guys, listen, I'm going to tell you something, okay? Sometimes when it comes to the players, players don't really surprise me, like, if they're, like, overpowered, because there's always, like, a logical explanation for most of them. You know, there's players that are, like, overpowered, like... In my opinion, like Balotelli, like if you use Balotelli nowadays, you're still cooking with that card. Honestly, that Balotelli card is sick. The only reason why you don't see him often is because of the links and stuff, right? Now, a few things to mention with this Yashin card that's really, really important to mention, okay? It's them giving him really, really high stats in specific areas. You know how the passing is low on the card with 64-64? I think the vision is what makes his passing perfectly fine to work with in the center back position. I almost don't notice the passing on the card being on the lower side, right? And then you also need to understand that when it comes down to defenders, I tell you guys all the time, man, that for me, it's really, really nice to have defenders that have high reactions at a 99 with a 98 for composure. It's always those two together, right? And he has that with high agility and balance. So it's a card that when it comes down to you know, transitioning, moving left and right with him. It's nice because he's working with the jockey and stuff too. Now, if we're comparing him to like the super, super top tier players, you know, obviously like the Van Dykes and Rio Ferdinands, those guys are disgusting, okay? Like comparison wise to there. But this card's not far off. It's like, it's still at the top. This card is going to be used in the top divisions, 100%. If you have players like, you know, Saliba and stuff, you're chilling. Most people's teams are like very conservative defense, very tight knit defense. Saliba is a very, very good player. Um, you know, every time you guys watch these reviews and you tell and, and you hear me tell you this is a card that will be used in the top divisions, they're going to be used in the top divisions. Bruno Fernandes, Alfonso Davies, Saliba, right? Any of those types, types of guys. And those are guys you guys are going to see all the time, right? Um, with Yashin, it's just fun to use a card like this that, you know, when you're manually defending with him, it actually works. You know what I'm saying? Um, because he also has like the regular intercept. He's got the anticipate and stuff. When defensive stuff doesn't come off for the card, I can never really like fully blame him because you guys know how this game is. That's why I tell you guys all the time that for me, if I were to play consistently, it would have to be the absolute top three center backs, top three right backs left. Like the defense has to be like complete full meta because one little small thing that happens I don't like, boom, right? That's how I am. That's why people still use the the team of the year Van Dykes, team of the year Rio Ferdinand. You gotta, bro. Like uh, the top tier, I'll spend. Uh, if I have to spend the money, it's all on the defense in this game, in my opinion, right? But as an SBC, this is a good card in game. I'm telling you, I was doing the review for Jerzingo, and in the back of my mind, I was like, yo, this Yashin's actually doing pretty good for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I, and it wasn't even the review. That's why the, that, that, uh, those highlights that you guys saw, that's all silent because I wasn't, you know, commentating on him specifically. But I was like, you know what? This card's actually, he's actually doing the thing for me. You know, it's, it, I like cards that makes me feel like when I'm manually using it, he actually does something. You know what I'm saying? It's really, really cool. But yeah, there's, there's a few things, man. It's the composure being high. 
strength being high, jumping being high. You know, the jumping being at a 99, even though he doesn't have aerial. Aerial is a really huge play style. But 99 jumping, you know, we were able to score that header from the corner kick from that. Uh, 99 strength and aggression. I, I always think it's always a combination of things because look at that situation with Alfonso Davies, how from behind, I, would, I was able to put enough pressure and then get the ball back, you know what I'm saying? Like push him off, get the ball back and transition forward, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, no, it's a cool card, man. Honestly, if they drop him as a SBC, because people are wondering if it's going to be goalkeeper or center back, like he's good. I liked using him, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.